everybody. Welcome to the online session of Manula Classes. My name is Brijesh. I'm the English faculty at Manula Classes. In today's session, I'm going to teach you five words which have been taken from the recent The Hindu newspapers. These words are pertinent to CLAT, ALIT and other law entrance examination. I urge you to watch the video till the end. Keep making notes of the words that have been discussed here. Also, discuss those with your friends in order to retain it for a long time. So the first word in the list is profess. Profess is a verb. It can be used in a two way. The first one is to say that something is true or correct even when it is not. So sometimes when you read a word and there is a definition, you do not exactly get what it, it is trying to say. So what do you do at that moment? Take an example and see what it says. My daughter will profess she is feeling okay in order to avoid going to the doctor. Okay, so uh, someone has a daughter and uh, she is maybe afraid of doctors. Okay, so if she's ill, if, if the father asks, would you like to go to doctor, she will profess. So it says, say something true is true or correct even when it is not. So her health is not good, but she doesn't want to go to doctor. That is why she is professing. My daughter will profess she is feeling okay in order to avoid going to the doctor. It has another meaning also to state honestly that you have a particular belief or feeling kind of confess. Okay, so profess and confess kind of related. So uh, she professed to hate her nicknames. Nicknames are cute though uh, for a person whose nick nickname is kind of bizarre. They do not like it. They hate it. Okay, so she uh, she is like she professed to hate her nickname. All right, synonyms are announce and proclaim. And antonyms are conceal and disavow. So this is how you learn a word. Take a word, know the definition, practice the words in a different sentences so that you can understand its contextual meaning. All right. Next word in the list is a uh, perpetrator. Perpetrator is a noun, one who performs a crime or an offense. Kisi ne jo kisi ghatna ko anzam diya hai koi apradi. You can call it a uh, perpetrator also. <clears throat> the perpetrator who stole the woman's purse hid behind the trash can and hoped the police would not find him. So here the word perpetrator refers to a person who has uh, committed the crime of stealing. None of the students in the class would identify the perpetrator who stole the teacher's watch. So executioner, criminal, both are synonymous to perpetrator, sheriff and lawman are antonymous to uh, perpetrator. They are basically a police person. All right. Next word in the list is unfettered. Unfettered is an adjective, not confined or restrained. So unfettered, when you have a prefix here, un, it basically takes it to negative, na of something. Fettered, you need to know the meaning of fettered. Fetter means kisi vyakti ko bandh ke rakhna. Constrain kar dena, restrain kar dena. As you can see here, confined or restrained kar dena. But here, unfettered refers to not of that thing. So, not confined or restrained. So, ankush in Hindi, you might have heard this word ankush. So, ankush matlab kisi ko bandhan mein rakhna. Nirankush jo bandhan mein nahi hai, jis pe ankush nahi laga hua hai. For example, unfettered from his leash, the dog ran freely around the backyard. So if you have a pet, you know if you have uh, fettered it, so it will like uh, calm. But as soon as you unfettered it, it will like run around the house. Option uh, example B, once the bird was unfettered and out of the cage, it flew up into the sky. So you know about birds, they are very, very silent in the cage, but once they are unfettered, they fly. All right. So synonyms are unrestricted and unconstrained. In antonyms are restrained and fettered. So here is the word. All right. Hope you understood the word fettered. Fourth word in the list is precedent. Precedent means an earlier event or action that is regarded as an example. Kuch bhi aisa karna jo ek example ko set kar de. For example, the judges had no precedent to review before making their decision on the controversial case. So generally people, uh, generally in courts, judges have precedent on a decided matter and they take the example of that case. But here in this case, uh, the controversial case, what, whatsoever the case is, the judge has, the judges had no uh, precedent. Another example is by helping a needy in front of her kids, she was setting a precedent for a future. So 
precedent can be replaced with the word example okay so generally uh, when we say when you are throwing a gar when you are throwing garbage on the road you are setting bad precedent okay because what whosoever sees it they also inculcate that practice so synonyms are exemplar and paradigm antonyms are posterior or succeeding all right hope you have understood this word also last word in the list is inheritance inheritance means anything that you have uh, received in inherited or inherited uh, from father from grandfather okay maybe it uh, money or property the act of inheriting the money property etc that you inherit for example the boy has an inheritance matlab so, usse sampatti mein uttardayitva mein kuch mila hua hai but he cannot touch the money until that uh, money he cannot touch it until he turns 21 another example is my cousin inherited the family business from her uh, father when she received the business from her father synonyms are legacy and bequest and antonyms are forfeit and squander forfeit means kisi cheez ko jabt kar lena ya aap gawa dete ho squander means bhi gawana hi hota hai so inherit matlab prapt karna apne father se grandfather se legacy mein aur forfeit is gawa dena all right hope you have understood all the words discuss here let us recall the first word profess means are to say something that is true or correct even when it is not correct the other meaning of this word is to state honestly you have a particular belief feeling etc like confess these are the examples second one is perpetrator can be inter, uh, interchangeable uh, can be used can be interchangeably used with the word uh, uh, criminal third word is unfettered means kisi ko uh, kisi bandhan se mukt karna nirankush uh, bana dena precedent means an example inheritance means money or property that you have received one has received from his father or grandfather so i hope you have understood all the five words discussed in this video if you are new to the channel do subscribe to our channel you can also share uh, these uh, this video with your friends who are preparing for clat elet and other law entrance examination thank you so much for watching the video till the end stay tuned stay happy thank you